experimental forge burner here. Got a new nozzle design. It's pretty much just for mass production and there's nothing special about it other than it was the easiest to make. And we're gonna see how this bad boy runs. Doing a vegetable oil. And then we're gonna try it on waste oil. fellas so essentially my iPhone sucks and was unable to observe to observe the fact that I had a blue flame about this big sticking out the front of this thing it looks very white on the camera I'm not sure how that's gonna come up in editing but there is something going on with this bad boy right here I think it has to do with the subtle change in geometry I have reduced the arc of the circle just a little bit and uh, for the most part, uh, the nozzle does constrict airflow into the front a little bit differently. This one does have a larger gate than usual, the back gate. 
and I am extremely impressed with the performance of this thing. That was phenomenal. That blue flame was just nuts. Something strange is going on as far as a secondary vortex. I might have a welding blob in there or something. Some sugaring, maybe causing a eddy current and some turbulence or something. But other than that, man, I think this sucker could run a forge just fine. Now that was with the fuel tank at that elevation. So technically my torch is slightly higher and all that flame adjusting that you've seen was me lifting the fuel tank up and down to observe the effects of fuel elevation. And it, um, the blue flame may have been a constituent of just the perfect ratio being available through these similar elevations of the torch and the burner. But uh, man, dude, that was gnarly. That was pretty awesome. We're not done messing around with this thing just yet. That was uh, it, the best burn I've ever seen in my life. I'm here to tell you right now, and I'm not joking. The blue color of that flame, it was all blue, no yellow. Never seen a burn that clean. Um, definitely has a lot to do with the vegetable oil. But other than that, uh, man, that was cool. Just fundamentally this video kind of goes out to all you blacksmiths out there who actually sell some of the things that you make and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on propane propane does get expensive after a while especially when you're using screaming amounts of it so there you have it